the way that uh, I understand PTSD is that you are constantly in flight or fight syndrome. Your brain is producing so much adrenaline that you are always on edge about something, waiting for the next shooter drop or the next car accident to occur. And when you come back from a wartime scenario, you carry that with you. Before the Gulf War, it was just more or less to me that typical harsh military parent that you know was stereotyped on TV. Um, Major Dad was a TV show that was on then, and that was my mother. She was, we used to call her Captain Payne. <laughs> but, um, the chores that I had, if they weren't done, um, she, she got physically violent with me as, as a little kid. I was only like eight or nine. I carried around the, the anger and the sadness about it for a long time. And then um, I was a sophomore in college, and I came home from Christmas and my mom, my mom had denied the abuse that she had done to me for forever. She told me that I made it up, that it was all in my head, and, and that upset me more than anything. I'm like, you can hit me all you want, but you can't say that you didn't do it. Um, I was angry, I mean, very angry. You can't just say that it didn't happen. Anyhow, she sat me down and she very tearfully apologized and she said, I know that part of the reason why you're hurting so much is because I've denied you that this even happened. So she actually held herself accountable for probably the first time I'd ever seen her hold herself accountable in my entire life. And she said, I did this to you, and, I, and she apologized, and it was very genuine. So we hugged it out, shared some tears, and I just forgave her, I was done with it. As an adult, I've gone through my own years of therapy to have dealt with all of that, and understand that the reason why she did what she did when I was a kid was because of the PTSD and I understand that when you're clinically depressed and your brain is firing on all cylinders to, to um, send all of these adrenaline chemicals through your veins that you don't function properly. You love your kid but you don't do it the right way.